do that again. Once I, I track you down again. So I can find you again. Once I did. Sister. Sister. Oh, sister. 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 That really hurts. Stop. We've seen what people do when a woman is abused by a man. Stop. Sit there. Stop. Sit there. You look like a psychotic person. But we wondered, what would happen if we reversed the sexes? What if the victim were a man and the abuser a woman? Huh? You want to start with me? Uh, this time, she plays the aggressor, verbally and physically abusing her boyfriend. How's that? How's that? Women abusing, even assaulting their male partners. Not as isolated as you might think. I hate you! From Moonstruck to Shakespeare in Love to Pirates of the Caribbean, women hitting men may be a Hollywood staple. But it's not just in the movies. Major League pitcher Chuck Finley's wife, actress Tawny Katayan, was arrested and briefly jailed after he accused her of pummeling him. She denied it and charges were dropped, but only after she agreed to attend anger management classes. Again, psychology professor Carrie Keating. It is a big problem in this country. Men create more damage, but women hit more than men do. Every year, there are more than 800,000 serious cases of women abusing men. Again, nothing, 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 nothing. But confronted with this, what will people do when hidden cameras are rolling and our actress is out of control? No. Huh? One after another, people pass by and keep right on going. What will this woman do? At first, she seems to ignore the fight but pauses a few paces down the path to watch. She tells us she didn't think this woman could pose any real physical threat. It didn't look like any harm was being done. I, I didn't immediately think to protect the man at all. <laughs> but now we're about to meet a woman whose reaction is instant, visceral. Watch closely. No, get up. No. Watch it calm down. What went through her mind? Good for her. You go, girl. <laughs> Linda McCluthy just assumed he had it coming to him. But why? Maybe she caught him cheating or something like that, really bad, and then made her lose it. <laughs> We've seen it before, back when we taped our first experiment with that abusive boyfriend. We told our actors to trade places for just one take. Tell me right now, right. why? Why? And later brought bystanders together to talk about what they'd seen. My first thought was that he must have cheated on her. But you don't know that. You don't, but we look guilty. Exactly. And now, over and over again, when the victim is a man, so many women perceive him as guilty. I figure, well, he probably deserved it. Linda seems to think our feisty actress is a kind of role model. I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm pretty nice all the time. I should, I should have done what she did sometimes. But what about this guy? You know what, just, just, Nate, come on! Come on, what? Whose side what is he on? You haven't said a freaking word to me about it. <laughs> We watch and record for hours and hours as 163 people just walk or jog right by. Look at how many people went by without defending that guy. And this is kind of classic because female aggression is usually seen as not very important, not very deadly, nothing really to react to. But just maybe things are about to change. Watch these women as they gather at a safe distance and map out a strategy. Now one of them approaches. Excuse me? Everyone wants to call the cops. <laughs> You're not gonna say anything? It's actually like none of your business, so can you excuse me? Oh sorry. Well if you need help, we'll help. But when she retreats, they go at it again. Look at me. Nate, stop ignoring me! What the? You're not even. Look, Nate, hello! Hello! And that's all it takes. This woman calls 911. 911, what was your murder to? 
There's two people fighting on a bench. She's like beating him up. I was wondering if somebody could come just check it out. But what would a cop do when a woman is abusing a man? Self-centered. Ah. Hi, guys. Why not call 911? Uh, what they would have, they would just have a little tiff. It'd be alright. I'd find it upsetting. I would find it more upsetting if he were putting his hands on her. Really? If you're wondering why they didn't call 911, well, he's a cop. If it had been the man, oh, without a doubt, you would have stepped in. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's called old-fashioned views. It's, it's a double but standard. It is. What can I tell you? I mean, you know, if you're raised the way I was raised, you don't put your hands on it, right? So what should you do if you watch, see something like that? Every individual has to do their own calculus when it comes to whether or not they should step in and help. For these women, the calculus was simple. The physical abuse, the verbal abuse, you know, you shouldn't be hitting one another. I was concerned for both their safety. And these women tell us the fact that the abuser is a woman makes no difference. That is not an answer! What matters is that someone needed help. There's also a risk to not helping. And when we fail to help in a situation, it doesn't make us feel very good about ourselves. I'd rather do the right thing than walk away and go home and regret it.